what I'm going to do now is add a device to the topology. This is a web Java client. See my ASA video for if you want to import this device. This is a nice basic Docker container with a web interface. Multiple devices exist within GNS3 that allow you to do something similar. I just like this device. So what I'm going to do here is open up a terminal. This device currently doesn't have an IP address. So I'm going to run nano and edit Etsy network interfaces. And I'm going to configure this device with an IP address of 10.1.1.2. Gateway will be the SRX device. The name server will be Google. And I'll save that configuration. And then I'm going to restart networking. So ifconfig shows us the IP address. This device can ping the network automation container and it can ping the SRX and it can ping google.com. This device also has a web browser. So I'm going to start up the web browser and point it to the SRX device. I'm going to add an exception here because that device is using a self signed certificate. And notice I can now log in to the SRX device using Firefox. So you could, as an example, configure the device through this interface if you wanted to. We can see as an example that there are two interfaces, gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0, that is up and is configured as the untrusted zone. Gigabit 001 has this IP address 10.1.1.254 and is the trusted zone. We can also look at other configuration options such as NAT and we can see that we are basically we are doing source and NAT translation on any source IP address going to any destination IP address. So I've now configured this network with two client devices connected to an Ethernet switch, connected to an SRX, connected to a NAT cloud, and I'm able to get these two devices to connect to the internet, as well as configure the SRX via HTTP. And as you can see there, I can connect to the internet using HTTP. So I could go to various websites on the internet using this web Java client, sending traffic through the SRX onto the internet. I could also SSH to the SRX and log in, and then open up a CLI. So I am working on the network automation container, but I've SSH'd to the SRX and I'm viewing the configuration, I could display it this way, which is more familiar if you're a Cisco person. So use the command show configuration to see a typical Junos configuration output or pipe it to display set to see set commands. So there you go, Junos. SRX running within GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.